Our world is an incredible mix of impossible to explain phenomenon and overwhelming information that has left many puzzled as to the nature of strange things from around the world. To help bring these mysterious phenomenon to light and to provide them with an understandable explanation, we will be visiting some of the most popular attractions from around the world and talking about their interesting characteristics. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be going over five strange and mysterious phenomena from around the world. The Floating Stone of Al Hassar, Saudi Arabia. In the small village of Al Hassar, located in Saudi Arabia, there is this natural rock formation that creates the illusion of a large boulder seemingly completely defying gravity. Referred to as the floating stone, the rock has been at the center of viral sensations claiming that the formation levitates more than 10 centimeters off the ground using nothing more than magic and miracles as its support. Of course, these claims are false. However, at first glance, the rock does appear to be hovering a foot off the ground while seemingly weighing more than four tons. This is due to the natural placement of the supports of the rock that have been filed down due to wind erosion. Usually when boulders are formed, it is because the weight is only supported by either one or two small pillars supporting it at the base of its form that throws the center of weight off the axis of the support, which will cause the pillar to crumble beneath, leaving behind a large boulder that can freely move around. In the case of the floating stone of Al-Hassar, there were three small pillars that formed in the middle of the stone in a perfect triangular formation that allowed the center of mass to be in between all three pillars, allowing for the weight to be evenly distributed and supported despite the incredibly thin size of the supports. At first glance, these supports are so thin and located so far underneath the rock that the entire stone appears to be floating until one looks under the structure to see the supports. Although this does make the formation a naturally occurring illusion, it is still no less an amazing sight to see as the odds of such a natural occurrence are so rare that it appears to be one of only a handful of naturally forming floating rocks in the world. Be sure to check it out before it's too late, as future wind erosion can very well lead to the crumbling of the support pillars, seeing the boulder being made free from its location and crashing back down to the ground. The Sailing Rocks of Death Valley Also known as the Sliding Rocks, Walking Rocks, Rolling Stones and Moving Rocks, the Death Valley Sailing Stones are a strange phenomenon recorded nowhere else on the face of the earth. It appears at different times of the day. The rocks will begin to move and inscribe long tracks along the smooth valley floor without any human or animal intervention. There are many different hypotheses of explanations that may be causing the movement of the stones. However, the trail of lines help to provide an insight. At times, these lines can move straight for long distances, turn around or turn at 90 degree angles. Many researchers believe that the movement of the rocks could be caused by a balance of very specific conditions that naturally form that allow the rocks to slowly glide by using the frozen sheets of ice beneath them and the perfect wind conditions the valley creates against the stones. Oddly enough, no definitive proof for the movement of the stones exists as there are no recordings or direct monitorings of the stones as they are moving. This has led some to believe that perhaps there is another mechanism at play for the movement of these stones contributing to the idea of ley lines and strange electromagnetic properties seen at specific points around the world. This theory might actually prove to be legitimate as research has found that volcanic rock can display electromagnetic properties as seen in other areas around the world, and research into the event has proven that the rocks were not moved by any mechanisms of buoyancy regarding 2014 data and research into the matter, with other evidence that natural materials found within the stones could be magnetic and manipulated by electromagnetic properties. The Petrifying Lake Natron Lake Natron, located in the Arusha region of northern Tanzania, is a natural wonder of the world that seems better suited as being the background landscape for a horror movie than real life. Due to the lake's low depth and incredibly rich mineral deposits, 
Strange cyanobacteria fills the lake, creating a peculiar red hue during its photosynthetic processes that makes the thick waters of the lake similar in look and texture to that of coagulated blood. Although this colouring phenomenon is easy to explain, it appears that the lake holds additional properties of which have left many wondering as to its exact mechanisms of function. Interestingly enough, because of these rich mineral deposits and strange red bacteria, it has been found that any animals that enter the region are almost immediately petrified and turned to stone, seemingly untouched by time. Skeletons of a variety of birds can be seen floating across the shallow tops of the lake, and larger animals including wildebeests and larger falcons have been turned to statues in the areas nearby via this petrification process. These findings create an unbelievably surreal environment that swallows the area in what can only be described as a nightmarish design. The cause for this petrification process is still widely unknown and research into the region has been halted due to preservation efforts to the local environment. This could mean that not only is the lake mysterious in its appearance and abilities, but that the mechanisms for such an odd discovery may be completely unknowable and possibly fringing on the supernatural aspects of animals being frozen in time. Similar to the Greek mythologies of Medusa, the landscape is littered with these petrified remains of creatures all throughout the area. Waterfalls of Red in Antarctica Definitely viewed as one of the most peculiar natural phenomenons from around the world is that of the waterfalls of red located in the Antarctic tundra. When a cruise ship passed by a remote location showing off the incredible size of the glaciers located off the coast of Antarctica, they came across a startling discovery that led to an investigation by research scientists in the area that were at first incredibly puzzled at what they were witnessing. It appeared as if the glaciers were bleeding out a thick red liquid that would spill out into the ocean looking very similar to that of the consistency of blood. This led to the name Blood Falls located in Antarctica as the site looked as if the Antarctic mountains were bleeding profusely into the nearby snow and ocean waters. When scientists analysed the liquid, they found that it was merely water mixed with a high concentration of a hypersaline body of water trapped beneath the glacier. When the glaciers began to melt, this would release the hypersaline mixture with the fresh water of the snow and oxygen of the atmosphere, which would create a rust-like colour in the water and cause it to thicken into a syrup-like consistency, creating the illusion of millions of gallons of blood pouring into the ocean below. Still, the sight can be seen occurring even to this day as the glaciers continue to slowly melt and can even be scheduled to view on a tourist destination a part of the Ross Sea cruise line that has made the site one of its main destination points. For those less fortunate, the site is so large and so long-lasting that images from satellites can see this strange occurrence and can be viewed by anyone wishing to see the site for themselves. The Glowing Waters of the Kawalien Lake Located on the Indonesian island of Java are waters that are so bright and blue that in the night they tend to be the brightest glowing object across the landscape. The cause of the glowing waters of Kawayen Lake is due to the lake's location and formation. The lake sits atop an active volcano summit and so is constantly being filled with sulfuric compounds that pour into the lake from the bubbling sulfuric gases coming up from the ground. In addition to these compounds are the adding of dissolved metals which turn the lake into a brilliant blue colour as well as filling the waters with beautiful citrine-coloured stones with billowing plumes of snow-white gases. Unfortunately, the mixtures of these toxic and dangerous chemicals that create this natural glow lead to the lake having a pH of 0.5, of which makes the lake dangerously acidic and to that of the acidity of sulfuric acid. Even taking so much as a smell of the gases coming from the lake can be more than enough to cause acidic damage to the inside of your nasal cavities and lead to complications of the lungs. Despite this danger, tourists can still hike three hours to get to the location and see the beautiful glowing waters firsthand. Many tourists have even reported glowing gas columns at different hours of the night that will glow a bright blue as the sulfuric acid gases become heated and will glow brightly all around the lake. 
This leaves the lake as not only one of the most beautiful naturally formed mysterious phenomenon, but also one of the most dangerous of which leads many of the locals to refer to it as an unexplainable acidic monstrosity. But what do you all think of these strange and mysterious phenomena found from all around the world? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thank you.